Hi Cancer, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly love reading for August 13th through the 19th. This is for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now, typically my readings are love readings. We will see whatever comes up. This may not resonate with you, but you know, so when you're watching it, if it doesn't resonate, then it's not your reading. If it does, fantastic. This is for the sign of Cancer. Somebody has become aware. Somebody has taken a time out to become aware after a loss of self, after a repression. Somebody is making an offer and it could happen very quickly. You could be receiving some communication or you may be communicating with someone offering them something. This is an offer. Somebody wants to do the right thing. We have uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Virgo here. This could be you. This could also be a sign of Pisces. This is loss of self. Repression. secrets but this is acting with integrity communicating in regards to the new plan you know you could have been dealing with a player in the past well, this is my player card somebody that brought imbalance to your life maybe you're dealing with somebody who had hidden agendas cancer a real player, somebody that totally caused some chaos in your life. Uh-oh. Bad karma, bad luck, the wheel of fortune reversed. King of Cups, this is you. Good intentions. You're probably doing the communicating, perhaps. Could be this other person. Maybe you've become aware of what it is that you want. Because you've dealt with some shit. You know, shit rolls downhill. This Wheel of Fortune reverse, it's like you've had some bad luck. Some bad luck, some bad karma that has to do with another person that has kind of like brought you backwards. Somebody brought you backwards, Cancer. I remember this is for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh-oh. So you guys are are handling, and not, I didn't mean to say uh-oh. I, I, what I meant to say was there's a soulmate connection, but I was, I said uh-oh for some reason. Anyway, um, reluctant to move on. Actually, this is the Four of Swords reverse. This is revival after taking a break. I feel like, the, you know, oh, let me get this last card. Ten of Coins, Ten of Pentacles. This is security. This is family. This is commitment. You know, there's been a break. Somebody, there's been a break. Maybe that, maybe you have been taking a rest from somebody or taking a break from somebody. You may have dealt with somebody while you were taking this break. You may have dealt with somebody else that, you know, it might have been a karmic situation. You know, somebody that came in to, you know, give you a dose, you know, and I'm not sure why, but that's what it looks like. It looks like you were dealing with a real player and they brought you backwards and, you know, now...
it looks like because this is coming out of a break coming out of some break let me get the clarifiers I want to zoom this in as well you know you do have a soulmate connection here with somebody okay you do I feel like you guys your intuition is really really talking to you at this time so absolutely pay attention to your intuition and you haven't been you haven't been the very first card in reverse is that's the repression you know I feel like you guys were in denial about a person perhaps and this person played you and that's why you got this bad luck you somebody played you cancer and it feels like now your intuition is telling you you know where you can find commitment and where you are contentment where you can find abundance and security and right now that's what you're focused on right now you're focused on finding your abundance you may be thinking about moving home, buying a new home. But with that Wheel of Fortune reversed, that's bad luck. You've dealt with somebody who really brought you back. But I feel as though, you know, this could also be somebody coming back from your past. I'm not, there's communication. There's, but I'm not sure if you want to go backwards, you know, you want to go back to the past and apologize perhaps or make an offer to somebody from the past. I don't know if that's the case. I'm just saying this may not be for you. But that's, you know, I think you tried to broaden your horizons with somebody new and perhaps this person really burned you. It appears that you have been taken advantage of with some from somebody with hidden agendas. Yeah, somebody somebody is very stubborn, hard headed, and they're not going to change. And maybe that's how you felt. Maybe you felt like you know what? I'm I'm moving forward. I'm not looking back. And maybe that wasn't the right move. I'm not sure. I, I feel like you have a lot of baggage that you're still carrying around from the past that hasn't been dealt with yet. You're still holding on. You're still holding on to the past, whatever this is. There's that high priestess again, reverse, both of them. You haven't been following your intuition, Cancer, and I'm sorry. But your intuition speaking to you, you're just not listening to it. And that's all there is to it. There's some sort of secret here, and you know what it is, but you're in denial about the secret, okay? Somebody is keeping a secret from you. You know they are, but you're in denial. You're like, oh, I know there's a secret, but I'm going to pretend there's not a secret because I don't want to know the secret, you know? It's like that, that denial, denial. And it's weighing very heavily. Look at how heavy that is. She's wearing it on her head, yeah. Yeah, she's carrying it on her shoulders. Yeah, that's heavy shit. Why are you carrying all the freaking weight? You're dealing with somebody who is very unbalanced and has is totally bringing you backwards, there's no doubt. Could be a Leo. I don't know who it is, but I'm just saying um, I feel as though you're going to have to find the courage to let go. To cut them out. You're going to have to find the courage to bring clarity to this person to cut them out. You're going to have to find the power to speak the truth, to accept the truth, to tell the truth. You know, you're going to find, you have to find the confidence to say, you know, enough is enough. So that you can find structure, so that you can be stable and secure. You know, I feel as though there is some sort of observation going on. There's some conflicts. There's undesirable news. I think that you're dealing with an untrustworthy individual who maybe they were just after you for your money. Maybe they were just after you for sex. Whatever. They were after you for it. There's no love here. You were dealing with somebody that there's no love. And they were after you. I think they were after your money. I do. I think they were or after what you... You know, <laughs> everything but love, put it that way. This is somebody who is a liar. And they've stalled your progress. And you know this. You already know this, but you're in denial. You know, you... Let me just get another one. 
you know, there could be a third party situation here with a with a earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You have to make a choice. You have a choice between two options. I feel as though you've got one person that has probably taken you away from another person and there's another person that's waiting for you. Whatever this means, I do not know. But I feel like there's an opportunity to find happiness and a reconciliation perhaps with a, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This, is a, this could be a reconciliation, a reunion after things have been halted, stalled. And I think they've been stalled because you were dealing with a bad karmic situation with another person. I feel as though, you know, there's a, an offer of love here, whether you're offering love to this person or they're offering it to you. I mean, there's a there's a water sign and an earth sign. So I feel as though things have been halted for quite some time, but I feel like this is probably the connection that you're looking for. But there's somebody in the middle, you know, the monkey in the middle. And I think the monkey in the middle needs to be cut out. I feel like you are absolutely dealing with an untrustworthy individual, an energy thief, somebody that has taken you backwards. And you have somebody that is better suited for you. An exciting new opportunity, exciting new offer waiting for you. But you need to get unstuck. This is get unstuck. Okay, you have to. You have to free yourself from this situation that is going nowhere. I feel as though, you know, there's a new opportunity for love. There is, there's no doubt about it. But I feel like you're still stuck on something. You're stuck on a bad karmic situation. And it feels as though, you know, you need to turn your back on that and wait for that right ship to come, on, come in. Focus on the future. Let go of whatever this is. There's no happiness there. You're in an unhappy relationship, Cancer. Some of you are unhappy situation but you're staying ah uh, maybe because there's codependent reasons you don't want to be alone but it's definitely a third party situation i feel as though either the person you're dealing with has another person on their mind or they're even whatever with this person their secrets or you have somebody else on your mind okay there is there is three there is three and I feel like, you know, somebody is really, really unhappy and they do have somebody that is better suited for them. But you have to walk away from something first. And you're thinking about it. You are. You're thinking about it. I do see that you are. You're going to have to find the strength to do so. Okay? You're going to have to find the strength to take action right now. Eights are the time is now. To do what's right for you. To follow your heart. I feel like you could be dealing with, you could be dealing with a Virgo. And that could be a Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. You're dealing with, but the thing is, is you're, you're staying in this situation that's a lie because of codependency for a lot of you. Don't want to be alone. And I don't want to grow old alone. But I feel like you guys are going through some sort of midlife crisis and this door needs to be closed right now, whatever it is. <laughs> now, nines, and I was going I was going with the eights, but nine, 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 Pisces had this as well. I feel, and this is doors closing, doors opening. Uh, wish fulfillment will come when you close this door to loneliness with whoever you're with you're, or concentrated on. You are concentrated on the wrong one. What the hell is this? I feel like right now you ha you know you had really good intentions and you had a good plan. But I feel like there you're dealing with a third party situation where this other person has some secrets. And you want a commitment. But it looks like whatever it is that you've been committed to is going to end and you're going to have a new beginning that's going to lead to a commitment. A transition. That's what this is. It's a transition. It's a release. You release a commitment. You get creative. You find your confidence, your self-esteem, your self-worth. You hold your head up high. And you take action right now. You take action. Things change. And, you know, maybe you head in the direction of this 
this could be a earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, that leads to a commitment. There's a choice between two options here. Two people. You have two people. Cancer. You do. There's two women here. This could be two men. Look at it like that. There's a commitment. Okay? You have to take action. You have to make a decision. You have to make a choice. You have to move forward. You have to hold your head up high. Something needs to end. There's one commitment that needs to end. And you need to take action. But it feels as though you, you know, we, we you're dealing with a very tricky individual. It could be the fire sign that's very tricky. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I don't know. We also have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have all the signs here, so it doesn't matter. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is a Gemini. I feel like you're dealing very with a very tricky individual, a very tricky situation. Somebody has some tricks up their sleeve. They are up to no good. Could be this person that just wants sex and money. You know, and you've had really good intentions for this. I think you you really gave your heart. But you're dealing with somebody who is very conceited and self-centered and not noble at all. Lazy, ruthless, doesn't care. And you have to move on. You have to find the confidence to hold your head up high. The self-respect to do what's right for you. Death, death. Look at they are. They're, they're remember I said this is transition. This is basic. It's the same. It's thirteen. It's the same card, just labeled differently. Death, death. It's the end of a difficult situation. It's the end of one commitment, and it, it's very similar to the last reading I just did. There's the end of one commitment that brings a new one, a new big death. It brings is a new beginning. It is. So I feel as though you guys are going through a transition, a transformation right now that is going to bring you victory and success if you can find enough self-respect to do what's right for you. You're dealing with a liar, a manipulator, a thief. You are. You've got somebody, you're dealing with somebody who does not have your best interest at heart and I know that. I feel as though, you know, if you could step out of your head, step out of your mind, step out of your comfort zone and make an offer of love, you know, there could be somebody from the past here that could lead to a commitment. Six of Cups. The memories of the past are haunting you. You have, you have two choices, and I think the memories of the past, I think that you would love to have a reconciliation with somebody from the past. Perhaps. The Empress, Taurus. This is about self-love, self-worth, self-esteem, enjoying life. This is a person, man or woman, who walks in purpose, knows what they are worth. I feel like there's an opportunity here for a rekindling of something. An offer of love. Now, if that's not, if it's not a rekindling, there could be a new offer of love coming in from somebody that has a really beautiful soul. Somebody you feel like you've known before or somebody that you have known before. Could be somebody that you were committed to a long time ago or in the past. But right now, you're dealing with a deceptive, tri tricky, sneaky, sly individual. And, you know, you have to follow your heart. There is an offer of love here, Cancer. There is. But it feels as though you really can't, you can't give to it. It's like you can't put in effort. Somebody isn't working hard enough to, get, to offer this love. Not working hard enough to offer this love. You, he should be on the horse. Yeah, there's indecision. I feel like there's somebody is postponing love. Why? Why are you postponing true love? There's a soulmate connection here. You're being called to open your heart to offer this love to this beautiful person, whoever it is. Probably somebody from your past. And, and maybe you don't even know this person yet. It could be an acquaintance. could be somebody from a past life. Awakening. You have to get unstuck. This is the hangman. You have to get unstuck. You have to free yourself. You have to see things from a new perspective. You need to wake up. 
You need to fight for love. You need to fight for what you want. You need to defend yourself from this player. You are absolutely dealing with a player that is using you. And, you know, you're going to have to step outside of your fear. So there's secrets. You're dealing with somebody who's keeping secrets from you and you know it. You know it. But you're in denial. Why? You are absolutely 100% in the denial. You need to find the strength to free yourself and go after what you deserve. You need to go after this love, that you're, the other love, the love that you're thinking about. You have a faded connection waiting for you. The wheel is now upright. Remember the other one was reversed. The wheel of fortune is now upright when you face your fears. When you fight for what you want, you step outside of your comfort zone, good things will happen. But you have to offer that love to whoever it is that's in your heart. I've cut my fingers. I don't know why. I did these yesterday. And this one cuts like a knife. Cuts like a knife. I don't know where that came from. I don't know why I keep cutting my fingers, but I'm getting sick of it. Anyway, um, something is hurting you. Don't let your fears of growing old alone keep you in the wrong situation. There's an opportunity for a reconciliation here with somebody from your past. There is. This is a reconciliation, somebody from your past. <coughs> Won't be that way for everybody. But for some of you, there is. We're just going to gonna clarify this hermit up here. That right there, that, that becoming aware. That is awareness, it is. It's becoming consciously aware of who, what, where, when, how, the whole nine yards. Being coming consciously aware of what is meant to be. Becoming consciously aware of what is going to make you happy. Becoming consciously aware of where your wish fulfillment lies. Of your dreams. There's an opportunity that is being handed to you that is sent from heaven. If you can go after it, you have to go after it. This is wish fulfillment. Becoming aware of what your wish is and going after it. This is hope. There's hope. This is this is renewal. There's an op there's a, there's a reconciliation for some of you there is. There's a reconciliation here. After hope had been just about lost in dealing with a situation that was very deceptive. Somebody was using you. Could have been just for sex. Could have been for money. Could have been sex and money. But not in love because, you know, there ain't no love here. There ain't no two of cups. There ain't no ace of cups. There's an opportunity for happiness with somebody from the past by the looks of things now this doesn't mean it's somebody I mean it could mean that it's somebody from your recent past but this could be somebody you know that you knew when you were a child somebody that you knew in, from your hometown somebody from a past life but it's time for you to wake up and see the light you have a beautiful soul Don't forget it. Right now you're going through some serious hurt. But you're allowing it. Suffering. Why are you allowing yourself to suffer from with somebody that doesn't have your best interest at heart? Why?
You're dealing with a cheater. It's time to pull those swords out and start the healing process. The truth is eventually going to come out. Why, why, why stay with somebody and waste your time when there's no love? There's an opportunity for love with somebody that you've known before. I know there is. So anyway, I feel like this is a week of reflection and perhaps taking action. Because, you know, the tens, those are completions. You have the wheel twice, you have the ten of wands, you have the ten of cups, you have the ten of coins, you have a lot of completions. Completions of a cycle. But with the wheel of fortune reversed under here, if you don't complete it, you're going to continue to get bad luck until you do. And that was from before. We're not going to take that one. Um... Somebody has to make a heavy decision, a stressful decision, and they're procrastinating with making the decision. Procrastinating for fear of rejection, for fear of, you know, not being accepted by the new. Well, you do have somebody that you're meant to be with here, and it's not the one you're with by the looks of things. I'm sorry for those cross watchers, you know, that I don't think you're with some 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 very uh a person that has hidden agendas. The high priestess twice reversed. That person has hidden agendas. They have secrets with the moon too, secrets. You're dealing with a secretive individual who's not telling you everything and you know it deep down but you're in denial. There's an opportunity for wish fulfillment with somebody from your past by the looks of things. Don't forget it either. You deserve love. You are lovable. You deserve to be loved. And you notice where I put this. She's pointing at this empress. She knows what she deserves. And she does not settle for less. So I feel as though there's an opportunity for love here with somebody perhaps from your past. But you're dealing with the wrong situation right now. And you're still meant, if you're single, you're still mentally conflicted about it. And if you're still mentally conflicted about it, then you're letting the universe know that you're not healed. You have to heal. Once you allow, wish fulfillment will come. Become aware, wish fulfillment will come. So I feel like this is a week of figuring out what you deserve and f going to get it there's an opportunity for wish fulfillment if you decide you want it there might be a little bit of pain to get there but there's healing the ultimate healing. This is protection. If something doesn't work out, it's because you're being protected for something better. So I see that there's a soulmate connection here and it's for somebody from your past. That's what I, that's what I think. But right now you're dealing with somebody who doesn't have your best interest. You're dealing with a, a thief, a liar, a shady individual who has secrets and isn't telling you the truth. And I don't see no love. We don't have the Ace of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Lover's Card, none of that. Not with this shady individual. With someone from the past? Perhaps. So I feel like this is a week of you figuring out what is going to make you happy. What you deserve. And taking action with that Knight of Wands to go get it. To step off the tree, to free yourself and, and get out of limbo and go get it. To bring abundance to your life. To fight for what you deserve. Fight for what you deserve. 
step outside of your comfort zone and go after your destiny. Talk to you later, Cancer.